Hello and welcome everyone to another high level match of Warcraft 3. We find ourselves here at the Autumn Leaves 2.0. And we got human versus undead fortitude here down in south. Opening with Archmage taking on the first green camp versus Happy. Who had the scud with the acolyte opening with a Lich King. And it looks like Lich King goes goes fast expo happy now usually in the rivalry history between those two uh, which is not that old to be honest um, but happy is pretty dominant against fortitude however however as of recently due to due to me watching a whole lot of ladder games nowadays I've noticed the fortitude when he meets Happy on the ladder. He has been very successful against Happy to a point where I don't know. Maybe um maybe I'm completely wrong. But to me and what my eyes are seeing, it looks like Fortitude is uh, one of the players that is beginning to crack in the code of beating Happy, aka the last emperor. AKA Big Dimi coming here with the Frost Nova. Oh, the Archmage. He's trying to focus the Archmage. And why not? I mean, if you can keep the Archmage out of the fight, that would definitely help here a ton. There's the level 2 with the kill on that peasant. This tower will not be completed. And you so full did you cancel in the Arcane upgrade there. And Happy goes back for the Archmage again. He's got Mofro Snova on him. Now back onto the foodie. Uh, let's just see. More ghouls. Okay. Okay, more peasants, more footmen. Back onto the fighting. Oh dear lord. Frost Nova on the peasants. And another peasant killed. So Fortitude was repairing this tower desperately with all the peasants, but all he did here was just give him happy extra experience and this tower will fall down. Oh wait, hold on. Am I forgetting things? Did the, the first tower got destroyed as well? Pro so probably Fortitude rebuilt it as a second one. Uh, that's one very hard ghoul running away. Uh, meanwhile, the Archmage clearly went to scout Happy, saw the expert oh, as well, and attacking it. But the Rubian Tower is already up for Fortitude. Uh, here's the Lich King with one single ghoul coming to defend this. There's another ghoul arriving. And meanwhile, three more ghouls are trying to cancel Fortitude's expansion. Going after the peasants again. One dead person. Oh dear lord. And the level of play here is insane. And that's two more dead peasants. But Happy and Fortitude are playing out of their minds right now. Microing ridiculously on two places at the same time. There's the boot of speed for the Lich King and the rest of the items by the way. Uh, let's go back to where's the archmage? I can't find the archmage currently. A town is under siege. Oh, he's hiding it behind the gold mine. Almost level three. Actually, way ahead of uh, Happy's Lich King in terms of leveling up. I think Happy is uh, doing way more damage despite the fact that he's got no level. Um, we had on the Lich King, and that says a lot of um, that's a lot of credit to Forty for his, I'd say, good early game. Obviously, the the expo maybe wasn't as quick as he would like, but Neva is happy. His ones is not actually ready yet, and Forty is already mining here, and the tower plus the towers up. And to top it all, he's got the Archmage level 3. 
Um, so yeah, Lich King's pretty, pretty badly wounded. His healing just got interrupted as well. Also, there's no tier two, so no second hero. And I think Fortitude will be very happy for quite some time to be one on one hero. And now all the footies as well. Footmen are so much better than bulls overall as a unit. I think all of us can agree on that. But the ghouls also very good, uh, especially being in the hands of Happy. They are even better, dare I say. Oh, Frost Nova on the Archmage! Ooh, 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 and that's a last minute TP for 40. Maybe he could have sent the Water Elemental to try and kill this Lich King here. Now he uses the dagger to heal again, the ritual dagger. And buys another Rod of Necromancy here. Okay, this expo is very well and healthy. Archmage regenerating health and mana as well. Up into tier 2, ahead of Happy. <laughs> we are not used to seeing, especially a human player being ahead in terms of timing with the teching and upgrading when they play against happy that is unheard of but it's happening here i'm happy with another frost nova on the archmage and again fortitude needs to be careful a lot of back and forth there's another ziggurat here for happy and he will probably opt out for a spiritual tower here no that's another merubian tower Still necessary, I feel, because at the moment his expansion oh, is under bigger threat under attack. than Fort is really. Fort is making another tower in the main base now. Year two almost finished. Now Happy is making his way down towards south of the map. Uh, which way is he gonna go? It looks like he's coming for the main base. Yep. Crossing over on that hoodie. He tried to deny it, but not successfully, really. Fortitude is going for the Lich King. Both are finding kills here and there. There's another kill. Now, the, the splits again are ridiculous. And that takes so much skill to do, being at two places at the same time. Oopsie daisy, Frost Nova, no. But Archmage versus Lich King exchanging blows. That's another kill here for Fortitude on a little skeleton. Oh, being ill is crap, boys. It really is crap. My nose is continuously blocking. I'm actually having a cup of tea by um, by the way, watching this game. Hamamel with vanilla and honey tea. Lovely. Here in the UK we got a brand called Twinnings. Uh, they're pretty big actually, they're probably all over the place to be honest. But uh, yeah. Just letting you know what your boy is up to while casting this game for you. Oh, Past the 10 minutes mark, MK second. Happy is going for upgrades and slaughterhouse. And the Death Knight is almost here. There it is. DK arriving for Happy. And he opts out for Coil, creeping here with the Lich King. And the Death Knight, the laboratory creep. Oh, room braces on the Death Knight. Get out of here. 
player's forces are. Get out of here. That's the first item you're gonna get happy, really? Meanwhile, Book of the Dead for the MK. Plus the boot of speed as well. Hey, Stone Bolt, Book of the Dead. Could be a dead thing, not really. Happy's healing it with a coil. Well, that's a lot of fiends for Happy here. Or did you still find the kill? There's a stone board on another one. I love. I love Magni the bronze beard so much. So so much. Um, I had one of my boys, Leo, who is one of the OGs here on this channel. Um, after watching the Happy versus Link game from today, which I casted earlier and I've, I've stated a humble opinion there which I said that Lin is probably the greatest of all time well not probably I actually said it <laughs> and then my boy was like I thought you said happy was the best ever which I did but don't blame me boys we have some amazing players throughout the history of our lovely game and um, I did say to him as well I, I changed my mind all the time Sometimes it's Infi, I said that about Infi loads and loads of times. I said that about Moon as well, plenty of times. So, I guess it depends on the mood I am. And the player that is playing as well, and I'm observing at the time. <laughs> Which it was, I mean, Lin. When, when you watch Lin, nostalgia that, uh, does kick in. Sometimes it makes you say things like that. Here we go, double workshop, Paladin as a third hero. But the reason I said that is because I remember now on a video, Leo just reminded me, on a video I said that Paladin was my favorite hero of all, of all heroes in the game. <laughs> but guess what, I changed my opinions about that as well a lot. And my favorite hero as he stands right now is this geezer here. Magni the bronze beard. I love the MK. I absolutely love the MK. Look at him, how brave he is at the front. Oh, that was a massive clap. Oh my goodness, 42. That was big time clap. And we all know that the Stone Bolt is the highest uh, dealing damage well, in the entire game. Oh yeah, and that's a lot of dead fiends here. Fortitude with the knight, and we all know knights are super strong against fiends. Very quick, quite tanky, loads of heavy armor, so they can take a lot of beating, but they also deal a lot of damage. Look at this, that's not too bad. And that is not even at level 3 upgrade, they go even higher damage and higher armor too. So at the moment though, it would seem that uh, Fortitude is ahead in terms of upgrades on the army. It is ahead in terms of hero experience as well. And this fight, he definitely crushed Happy in this fight. Completely crushed him. And I mean the supply difference is, is just approved statement to it and meanwhile i forgot to mention that happy goes for the classic fire hero combination as dark ranger as a third hero taking on this orange camp now onto the east side of the map fortitude meantime finishing off this little green camp from earlier okay he buys star for sanctuary okay Okay, Inver Potion, Scroll of Healing, let's check the Archmage, pretty good as well, Orb of Fire, what's the MK saying? Nice, I'd actually like to see an Inver Potion on the MK as well, if possible. But maybe we'll see that as well. <clears throat> Meanwhile, Happy already taking care of the red camp, red camp as well, here in the east, just under the orange. And now Fortitude is taking on the orange. Level 2 on the Pali. And he goes for the Vine Shield. Uh, 
and he can have time to get on the red red camp as well there Town is under siege. instead he goes back okay his expansion is being attacked here he goes for the gunpowder upgrade as well okay let's see where he's gonna tp oh happy's a bit out of position in this fight not the ideal situation he wanted entering into it sometimes you've got to deal with diversity uh, Sometimes you gotta deal, forgive me, sometimes you gotta deal with difficulties that the game will throw at you. <clears throat> okay. I also said earlier, that I'm not losing my voice, but just now I felt like losing it. Maybe because I was trying to hold my cough in. I was about to cough really bad. <clears throat> Seems like I'll be down for about a couple days, two to three days at least, boys. I've already called my boss to get a few days off. Well, I'm getting tomorrow off for sure. I'm not going to work tomorrow. A player's forces are under attack. Which could be, again, very good news for us. As long as you have a lot, a lot of good games like we did um, yesterday. So as long as we have a very good games today, I can uh, do more than one or two videos tomorrow as well, hopefully. But, yep. In the manner of this, now that we're speaking about it. Please help. Help the mission here. And if you enjoy your daily dose of Warcraft 3, you already know. Like the videos, share them. Talk to your friends, tell them about us here and what we're doing. And of course, subscribe to the channel. Very, very, very important. It helps so much. Okay, 40 is taking on another expansion. And Happy clearly does the same up in the upper left side of the map uh, this mk actually is so brave going so far behind look at this club is massive and now the knights will make a good work out of those fiends that was another kill that's another kill before did you this find so many kills here happy is still holding fairly well but he's retreating and the gyros are destroying these destroyers. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Some ridiculous stuff. And there's more and more statues killed as well. This pally is sustaining those knights pretty well. Oh my goodness. Pally with the, uh, with the holy light is massive here. Perhaps Happy wants to... Maybe nuke on the pally. That might be his... Um... Whoa, his only move right now. I mean, since the start of the game, Fortitude is completely destroying Happy so far. And it's something I've mentioned to you earlier already. I do believe, from observing so many ladder games now, thanks to my channel, I honestly... Oh, the MK would he survive? Yes, holy light with the pally. Clutch. Um, but I genuinely believe Fortitude is one of those players that is... He's cracking the code of beating happy, you know? When they face each other on the ladder, he's been more than successful against happy. Yes, I know, in official tournaments and stuff. Um... Happy is so dominant against 40, but, but, given the age of Fortitude, he's very young, he's one of the young stars of, of the pro scene. And I do believe that the talent is there, clearly, and he can only get better and better as the time goes, um, so as long as he doesn't stop to play the game, I believe... Fortitude 
will be in serious, serious contention for winning tournaments in the near future. Unlike the other humans, uh, Sokin Chimiko, he was the one that's been so close of winning a tier 1 tournament, 40, and he was even younger then, so imagine that. Plus losing, as I said, losing in a official tournament, tier 1, losing to guys like Happy and Lin, um, there's nothing shameful in that, you know? I believe, was it WGL where Fortitude went to the final and he lost the final against Lin there? But I mean, that's in, that's in itself is a huge success. Because I believe 40, Fortitude at the time was about what? 20, 23 years of age maybe at that time? So, I mean, yeah man. Fortitude is one, if not the most talented player of the newer younger generation up and coming guys a place <sighs> so all we can do is just stay patient and see what happens oh this tea is so banging by the way i'm actually gonna have another one after this and guys autumn leaves is usually not the biggest map in the world and usually, it's not known for games going like super long. A but we are, are under attack. We are about 25 minutes in the game, almost just over 23. Happy took the other red camp away. Now, th this actually could be a problem for Fortitude because I mean, look at those items on uh, Happy's hero. Look at the Dark Ranger. Helm of Valor, double close, one of which is plus nine. That's insane. That is insane. Look at the Lich King as well. Look at the DK. That is ridiculous. I'm speechless. And although 40 was completely crashing happy up until this point, and I believe he can still win the game. But his chances are now less than they were, let's say, five minutes ago. And of course, it will be blasphemy on my side if I ride Happy out in any game, in any situation. That is the one guy you don't want to bet against. Believe me, I've learned that from experience as well. So Happy can still win this. And he actually is looking more and more like winning this. And the thing that's gonna win it for him, as I said, are those three heroes with those items. That's insanity. Insanity. MK with a storm bolt on the Lich King. And why not buy some extra time? Oh, Happy sees the Siege Engine though, that was not good, that was not good for Fortitude. Is Happy gonna ignore that? Oh, Happy with a rare mistake as well, those destroyers are a bit out of position there. There's the second Siege Engine from Fortitude's arriving. Okay, another Stone Bolt on the Lich King. Happy. Had enough mana for a coil, but I don't think he's got any more coils left in him. Yep. And those gyros are actually insane. That was another pain kill there for Fortitude. They start the sanctuary on the night. And that's a dead gyro there. A dead helicopter. But there's still loads of helicopters in the airs. And look at as soon as they see the destroyer, what's happening. Obviously, you, you, you need to be mindful a little bit as well, 40. Don't get the excitement. Uh, don't allow the excitement getting over your head. Too many of those helicopters got wept down. Now, too many of those knights got hurt by that uh, Frost Nova. Holy light and another star for Sanctuary. And I believe this guy shows you that 
when you play against Undead as a human player, and you go for a tri-hero combo, you need Star for, Star for Sanctuary on all three of your heroes. That is key of winning. One of the keys. There's of course others, but that is one of the keys. And Fortitude is demonstrating this. And also, if you haven't checked uh, the Happy vs. Leon game, that was a big talk in the Warcraft realm where Leon completely destroyed Happy. He used the Staff of Sanctuaries a lot and he had them, I believe, in all of his heroes. Actually, I believe Fortitude must have watched that game as well because this is literally what he's doing. Knights, Players helicopters, the same hero combination with the Staff of Sanctuaries. Uh, that's all you can do, really. Make sure you get all your upgrades as well. Obviously, that's very important. Uh, try to expand early. That was that was the that's the first step. Actually, you need to secure your expansion. Then go into castle. Then from footies transition into knights and helicopters. Triple uh, stuff of sanctuary on your heroes, and of course, very very important. At that point, if you manage to get to here, then it's going to be down to your micro. So how good of a player you are, actually. And if you're a very good player, you've put yourself in an amazing situation where you can win the game. But this Archmage, no chance for the Archmage here. Straight lights out before the fight even started. And this was not so good of a micro from Fortitude. Unlike Leon in that game uh, we was talking about. Speaking of which, if you of course enjoy Human vs. Under, just go and watch it. It's worth to see it, believe me. Leon played insane. Uh oh, DK got surrounded by the knight! MK now gets new this time and that is Lich level 6 Ridiculous 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 and As I said those items on that triple hero combination for the undead player Might be what win him the game oh, We're happy with these coils so many coils save so much How do you deal with it? If you can keep that death knight as long as you keep it full of mana how can you cope with this undead pressure although he's lost a lot as well to be fair happy but saying this most of it is now helicopters for fortitude so what's the point really the other gold mines have expired same for happy by the way so we got last gold mines left for both players Happy's got more gold though due to the fact that he had outer expanded so it's been mining later in comparison. But I like Happy's tactic here. He's targeting the Archmage again. Nice blocks with his statues and almost gets it again. Almost but not quite. And now Happy is finding more and more kills, feeling more and more confident in this game. Taking on those knights. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, Holy Light. MK is being revived as well. From the tavern, I guess. And that's... Oh my god. Targeting the MK again. That's another Holy Light. But the Paladin is now out of mana too. And what do you do now, 40? Now your heroes are out of mana. You don't want to fight right now. Right now, you do not want to fight. But actually, I think he can be okay now because Happy is also out of mana. Yeah, that's ridiculous. The Dark Range is level 5 now as well. And we have the Dark, the dark Arrow is level 3 now. And those skeletons will be insane. Who did you take down the Fiend just before Happy managed to teleport out of here? Fortitude's gotta try and keep this army here. 
There's no more towers standing up. So this is potentially a weak spot for Fortitude now. If he loses this gold mine, it's game over for him. Oh no. Oh no, these helicopters. That's one dead. A quick reaction from Fortitude there. So luckily for him, only one dies. He needs to be careful. He is coming again. Oh, Invo Potion. And Mana Potion on the DK. Oh, that, that's a scary sight right here. Okay, Stormbolt from the AK right away onto the Lich King. I look at these knights. That's so much damage on that Lich. <laughs> look at the damage on the knights, man. Come on. Well, oh, they're taking all the statues. Really? God damn. Divine Shield from the Pali. Oh, oh, that was taken away. Dark Ritual. Happy takes a knight straight away. Frost Nova and Coil. It's another Storm Bolt on a Finn. That's, that's another dead Finn. And the game is still pretty even here. The forces are pretty even. But I can't help but to think that Fortitude was in such a strong position earlier. Now, not so much. This Paladin needs to be careful. That's a red alert for him, literally now. That's another dead fiend. He needs to be very careful because there's another Frost Nova now and another Coil. And if Happy decides to go for the Paladin. He can take him down very easy now. Okay, here's the Divine Shield. The Fortitude will come back with the Pally. Who needs a level 5, by the way. If he can get this Pally into level 5, that'll be so good. Holy Light at level 3, so, so good. Oh dear. Happy regenerate so much mana, though. MKs get targeted. Where's the pally? Okay, Holy Light on the MK. Safe for now. Stormbolt on the Lich King. A coil on the Lich as well. Heals him. Uh, Fortitude, I think, overcommitted here a bit. Trying to kill the Lich King, but almost losing the MK in the pursuit of it. Okay, another Holy Light, but another coil for the Lich as well. Frost Nova on the MK. Oh, dear Lord. Oh, dear Lord. That's another coil on the Fiend. Cross Nova on the Knight. Star for Sanctuary. And it looks like we are in a situation where there's like... Nobody can take the advantage. This is going to take a lot of iron nerves by the way as well. Whoever breaks first I feel like will lose the game. Because the, the army compositions are pretty... Pretty fair, pretty even. But it's just whoever's... Oh, and that's another killed Archmage. Yeah. There's not much you can do when you get nuked by the undead heroes. There really isn't a lot you can do. That's a dead statue. And save nine, by the way. Forty saves that nine. Didn't lose it. <coughs> Pardon me. That's another dead knight. Yeah, the nuke from those undead heroes is becoming a bit overwhelming. Don't vote on the death knight. Ooh, Fortitude was trying to surround him unsuccessfully. And that's another kill knight here. <clears throat> There's no more mana right now. Okay, he just consumes that potion. So there's more coils. Ooh, another dead knight. And I feel bad for 40 here. I think he just bought the Invo Potion as well for the Lich King. Invo on the Death Knight. Invo on the Dark Ranger. Yeah, boys. I think we are coming to an end here. This Archmage is back in the game. Okay, 40 seems to be targeting the Lich King again. Okay. Ooh. And that's TP from Happy. But the Archmage was 
killed yet again. And I don't know how many times. Fortitude can allow to lose the Archmage. How much more he can take of this as well. Because he is falling behind now. Lich King is almost level 7. Dark Ranger is nearly level 6. And there you go. Happy is back already. He is giving zero time for Fortitude to try and even recover from this. Oh, Frost Nova. Yeah, that's the Divine Shield from the Pally. But Fort is going to lose the gold mine. Oh, these peasants. They will make the, the, the Lich level 7 here. Or will they? Ah, look at those skeletons. Look at those dark minions with the level 3 dark arrow from the Dark Ranger. This MK now is being targeted. But what can you do? What can you do? Yeah. That's it. MK dies. And that's the GG win for happy in this one. Thank you guys for watching with me. I love you all. And I'm going to catch you on the next one.